Well, hello and welcome to another Everesting bike. And this is actually my Everesting bike. This was what I rode to do my first Everesting. Uh, I rode uh, the freeway side of Mount Osmond 91 times to do an Everesting the first time, which was great. And it is built around a Batechia ME2 frame from 2013. Now this is probably not the best frame for Everesting. It's very race oriented. Lots of very fat tubes, very short head tube there, a 31.8 seat post at the back. So yeah, uh, very stiff, very race focused. Uh, but it's not, it's actually a pretty nice ride, which I'll touch on uh, later. So what it's built around is a Campagnolo Record 11 set. So shifters, Campagnolo record 11, brakes record 11, and we have a compact Campy record 11 here, so 50 34. At the back, I have a 12 to 29, which is the <laughs> biggest range that Campy will let you have, unfortunately. Um, now, Mount Osmond, it's only 8% average, but it does go to about 14%. 15% on its little nasty wall to begin with. So, you know, the 29 was good, but I would have liked a 32, but hey, not an option. And I ended up doing it. So, you know, it wasn't sort of the difference between success and failure. Um, now, the other thing that, uh, another thing that I love about this bike is the wheels. They are made by a New Zealand company called Wheelworks. And uh, they basically do custom builds. So this is a set built on an, a White Industries T11 hubs, SL Percenti SL23 rims. Um, and yeah, they're just a really, really great all-round aluminium clincher. Um, now I got them because the very race-oriented frame had a bit of a rough ride with the wheels that they came with. So these are called the SL23 because they're 23 mils wide, a very, very nice wide wheel, which is sort of the trend that uh, the wheel industry is going towards now. So I'm able to run my Continental GP4000 S2s, 25 mils wide, at about 75 PSI. So it's actually quite a nice, comfortable ride now. Um, not as comfortable as my Cervelo, but you know, that's a classic bike, so you wouldn't expect it to be. Now the rest, we have a Data Super Zero seat post, a Physique Arione saddle here, and at the front, I've actually changed out the bars since I did the Everesting, so these aren't the ones, but uh, what I did was I actually ran a couple of, I moved the stem up a little bit and had a more upright seated position, so it was a bit more comfortable to spend, you know, 120 kilometers of climbing um so yeah that's my bike thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more everesting bikes